Well, hello, it's really good to see you today. Come on in, we have some new decorations. I'm I'm really feeling in the holiday spirit <laughs> this year. So, do you want to uh, decorate and declutter your holiday decor with me? I'll show you some of the new things I got that I'm really excited about, and we'll just talk about, like, what are some tactics that we can use to declutter holiday decor as we go? So every year is a little bit different how much I wanna put out for Christmas and everything. And I've decluttered our, well, I can show you, I've decluttered our Christmas decor down to one tote. So we don't have a lot, that doesn't include the Christmas tree. We're gonna put that up a little bit later. But I decided this year that maybe it was time, we might go up to two totes, um, that maybe it was time to add in a little bit more. I think because the kids are a little bit older now, it just makes it feel more doable. I don't know, like we can have nice things setting out. I don't have to worry about anybody getting them or breaking them. See, it all starts with one impulse buy and then it just goes downhill from there, right? So I was at our local home improvement store of all places and they had this barn and I'm like, wow, that's really neat. And it lights up. I'm always drawn to these like old fashioned like Christmas lights that are on it. And then I saw that it was on clearance. It was 50% off because it was last year's display model and it's actually missing a few lights when you look close, but you can't really tell. So it was only $12 and I'm like, well, that's a steal for the size and the, the impact that this is gonna make. And if you have watched any of my holiday decor videos in the past, one thing I've learned is that when your house is highly simplified, it doesn't take a lot of decor to make it feel festive. And something that's been especially helpful is if you use a lot of red during the holidays, it makes a big impact with not uh, needing a lot of things. And so I think this would look really cool on our dining table because I had this little gnome that I loved, but it got broken, one of the kids broke it. And so I didn't have that for the table anymore and I, I missed it, I always really liked that. Then I also saw next to it, they had the trees. And many, this is like a, you know, reproduction of, you maybe had something like this growing up. Um, I know my mom has talked about it and she has the big version of it. So this is just a small one. And of course it lights up and it has these pretty little lights. How cute do those look together, right? But this is where the spiral really happened was then we were at Cracker Barrel. <laughs> Can't go into Cap Cracker Barrel this time of year, right? And then I saw the church again with the little lights on it and everything and it lights up. And I'm like, well, I mean, we're gonna have like a village now, right? And so I'm like, I see how it happens. I apologize to all of you that have these like beautiful Christmas collections. And I'm like, declutter it, who needs it? Simplify, right? And now I understand because I am ex I'm so excited to put these things out. And so that's why I also might have to add another Christmas tote now because I'm keeping the box. This one didn't have a box, but I have the box for this one so I can put it back in and it can stay safe again when we're done with the holiday season. Okay, so I understand a little bit more how we accumulate a lot of Christmas stuff, but I also know that for the last eight years, it has been wonderful having all of my Christmas decorations fit into one tote and just keeping it very simple. And so even though I'm adding a few more pieces, we also got some new garland and a wreath that we'll put up outside in a little bit too, that I'm really excited about. So even though I've added a few new things, it's still important to me that we keep it simple because I know that every area of our life functions better when it's simple. Well, let's start here in the kitchen and then we'll we'll move around. So really here in the kitchen, the only thing we decorate are open shelves. But what's so funny is I cannot for the life of me remember how I decorated them <laughs> last year. So we're gonna have to pull a, a few things out of the old Christmas tote here and see what we have. I'm sure it'll come back to me. Again, because I don't have a lot of stuff. So there's, there's not like a ton of options here, right? Oh my goodness. I did get these last year from Target, but I don't know if we're gonna use those. And then Maggie and my mom made this last year. Gage welded this <laughs> last year, isn't that so cool? I like the feature, do you use this on your phone? You can search by like date. Um, so I'm gonna put in November, of 2022, I know I have a picture of it and we'll see how we decorated it. <laughs> it's also when we were making bunt cakes. I have so many bunt cake <laughs> pictures in here. You can still get our easy awesome bunt cake book um, and all the proceeds are going to Dorothy's house. Okay, here we go. Oh, really? Is that really how I decorated it? Wow, I don't have a lot of the same. Okay, I'm seeing how we did it. We're gonna have to switch it up. I don't have everything all the same stuff, so I guess we'll just work together. I'd be curious, do you like decorate the same way every year or do you like to kind of like switch it up? So we're gonna switch it up this year, sounds good. And the only fall decorations I put out this year, I have a pumpkin there, a pumpkin on the dining table, and a pumpkin in the living room. <laughs> so 
not much to undo in that regard. All right, let's see what we can do here. So now remember, if you're styling like open shelves or something like that, remember our, our color zigzag trick. So you want to take like your accent color and you want to stagger it up your shelves. So you like make a zigzag pattern and that's what makes it feel like cohesive and kind of put together. If you ever look at something you're like trying to play stuff on it, you're like, something's not right. It's probably like your color balance a little bit off. This is not perfect. I like have a zig with the <laughs> cups and the belief sign. Um, I don't have anything red to put at the top, but um, I think it's okay. I mean, isn't it amazing how just putting like two pops of red color on here really does make it feel festive. So I took off my pumpkin. I took off one of the cake stands, which I can just put that in the basement for now. And yeah, I don't know. I still kind of want something red on top, but we'll see as we go, as we keep decorating, if I come across something else or think of something else to do up there. So we will, we'll leave that for now. I really don't do a lot in the kitchen. Our kitchen is small and there's just not a lot of places to decorate. So why don't we move on to the dining room? Okay, so here's pumpkin number two of my fancy <laughs> fall decorating, right? Uh, it's pretty though. I like it. <laughs> it was from Aldi. Um, okay, I think we're going to put the barn here. I think this will just be a nice place to display it. The tree as well. <laughs> I know, my decorating is so elaborate. Can you handle it? <laughs> uh, it's really cool at night when we can turn it on. The kids will love, you know, anything light up. The kids love going around and turning on all the lights at night, especially because it gets dark so early, <laughs> right? So anyways, it's just pretty and it's festive. It's simple, but it's really pretty. So, okay, well, <laughs> that took a long time, but wait until you see my new throw pillows. That's where it gets exciting. <laughs> okay, so there's kind of a running joke with me and throw, throw pillows, right? Because I can be minimalist in like every area of the house pretty much, but I do enjoy throw pillows. There's nothing wrong with that. So we each can have our areas where we have a little more inventory. So I realized I had not brought any new throw pillows in over a year. I thought it'd be fun to get some new Christmas ones. Like I said, I was kind of feeling a little more in the Christmas spirit uh, for decorating. Ooh, I want to show you what's inside that box too, which is really fun. Look at these beautiful new pillows. I have not let anybody uh, sit on them. <laughs> Aren't they just so pretty? This is like a kind of like a sweater pattern. And of course the red and plaid pattern. Again, put in some red and it's like a big, a big pop of color. I think we'll put two on this couch, two on this couch. These pillows in here look so sad. Everyone's like, John, your family should get to use the throw pillows. Like, do you see how sad these look? Now I was gonna see, oh, they do have a zipper. Oh, and you also also say like, cut the tags off already. What are we doing? They do have a zipper, so I was thinking about putting a little more filling in them because we have a couple old bed pillows. I'm like, I can just take out the stuffing and put some of it in here to make them, because I'm like, the green we can use for Christmas. So we could make those look a little bit nicer. This one, eh, this one's looking really sad, but we don't need this for Christmas. So I'll probably put this one away for now. And this one I've always felt looks kind of like a snowflake pattern. So I think we can make this guy work too. So let's see what we can do here. All right, I got a pillow. This could be a, a big mistake, I don't know. Here, we'll cut the tags off first for everyone who that bothered a lot. All right, tag cut off. We will open the zipper. There we go. So I'm just gonna add it to the back so that it doesn't look lumpy, right? Don't want that. I'm just sitting here thinking like, is this the best use of my time right now? I don't know. It's fine. <laughs> like, we have fluffy pillows at the end. It was worth it. I wanted to show you too. I just got a couple new, uh, more gifts in the mail for um, Declan, Declan and Cora. So Declan's three and Cora is a year and a half. They're really cool. So I'm going to show you those too. All right, we're getting more filled up, so that's definitely looking better again. Should we do just a little more for good measure or not make it too full? Maybe not make it too full. All right, awesome. I'm just gonna do the other one quick and then we will get everything in place. And so again, I think there's a lot of wisdom in just knowing what kind of season you're in. Do you wanna do a lot of decorating this year? Do you need to scale back? It doesn't mean that forever and ever, you're not gonna do a lot of Christmas decorating. It might just mean for this season that you don't have the capacity and that's totally fine. You know, like I said, this year I'm having fun, doing a little more, getting a few new things. Uh, we're gonna do some stuff outside too, 
but, and uh, the whole time we've lived here, this is our seventh uh, year here, I, we've never decorated outside because it was just too much, right? And this year I'm like, ooh, let's, let's do some stuff outside. So things can change from year to year and that's totally fine, right? I don't know, I'm not loving how all this pillow arrangement is coming together and everything. It's the type of thing I'll probably like, play around with for the next, I don't know, a few days or so. And ultimately I still want our space to be functional and all, all that, but no, no one can touch the red and white pillows. Okay. Those are off limits. They can do whatever they want with all the other ones. <laughs> That's totally fine. Um, but these ones will be off limits for now and I'm totally okay with that. And then again, as we're going, just being on the lookout for things that we haven't used in the past year, the past two years, the past five years, if we'd be willing to part with that, it is so much easier to manage all of our holiday decor, seasonal decor, all that type of stuff when we don't have extra stuff around that we're just not using. It's okay if you bought something. I mean, I did just buy these, I don't know, a year or two ago. I can't actually remember. I never really liked them from the get-go. They were just fine. I think they were just from the Target dollar spot. I don't know. Um, but I, I don't think I'm gonna have a place for them. Like so far, I mean, we're almost done decorating and I don't have a place for them. So instead of sticking them back in my holiday bin, uh, I'm just gonna let them go. And by next year, I will not have remembered these, right? And so even, we'll keep going and we're done, we'll look at what's left and if there's any stuff that we wanna donate. Um, but that is so funny uh, how fast time goes and how much I forget now of stuff that I've donated. And it's, it's better just to let it go, not have to manage it anymore than to carry it over from season to season to season. And then I'm gonna have the, the little church and the tree. Well, I think I'm gonna get another tree. I put this one with it from the dining room table to see how it would look. It makes my heart so happy. I love this. I've never had anything on the coffee table that I really liked having there. And I love how this looks. Again, our kids are older now, so I can put stuff like that on the coffee table and not have to worry about it. And it just, it really makes my heart happy. So <laughs> I'm really glad about that and my, uh, my, my new investments <laughs> in holiday decor. <laughs> So this is the bathroom where the kids and I get ready. And so I have intentionally just kept it very cleared off and clean. So the only thing on the counter is the soap dispenser. And then we have our hand towel. The funny thing is like, this used to be our good hand towel. I don't know if you can tell like how dirty it is. I just like gave up and I'm like, fine. Everyone can use it, it's fine. So I have a different guest hand towel now that I just keep in this little basket when people come over. So I have something nice I can put out, right? I'm gonna put the out the pretty one for right now, but it's not gonna stay out. Then I'm gonna put the gross one back out and it'll, the pretty one will live in this basket over here that just sits on this dresser. So I literally have two things that I put out in here, right? Because again, because I just don't want it getting just gross and you know, just more stuff being in the way. So, okay, whatever. <laughs> so swap out our soap dispenser. Yeah, I sometimes, I've had a, like a plant in here in the past, but even now, it'll get like toothpaste stuff on it, right? And I'm just like, who wants to have to clean a plant, right? So there we go. That is our excitement <laughs> right here. I know some of you are probably like, this is like the lamest decorate with me video I've ever seen, right? That's, I know, it's fine. <laughs> okay, not sponsored, but want to show you what's in this box. You've heard me talk about Mercy, Mercy House Global before, and they help refugees. They're located in Houston, and all everything that you'll find is handcrafted by refugees. Oh, darn it, I don't wanna cry. <laughs> yeah. We're tackling poverty through dignified jobs. And you'll hear me talk about Mercy House Global, Empowered Goods, my sister Diana works with Trades of Hope. And what is just so neat is how, I'm really not gonna, <laughs> I'm really not gonna cry. One woman working and being empowered can impact up to 10 lives, her kids, sisters, moms, relatives. She's not just supporting herself, right? And so it is just so cool. And so I have to show you these earrings. So this is Mercy House Global. These earrings are so beautiful. And on the back, it talks about Mercy House Global. So when you give this as a gift, then those who receive it know how impactful this is as well. They also have their candle subscriptions, which I think is a wonderful gift. They're 100% natural soy wax. Even on here, it says hand poured in the US by Syrian refugees, but this candle, it is chai, spiced chai latte. Ah, I wish you could smell it because 
even when I just take the lid off, moving without lighting it, like it just it smells so wonderful. So if you know anyone that likes to try lattes, uh, this would be a really fun gift for them. But if you have some Christmas shopping, shopping still to do and you want to support a really great cause too, they have so many different items on there from jewelry to household items, Christmas decor, they have subscription boxes, so many cool things to choose from. Okay, so we're gonna have the kids put up the Christmas tree. Let's go look at what we have for leftover decor because honestly, this is pretty much all <laughs> that I do. It feels, it feels Christmassy in here though, even though it's not a 10, but it actually, I'm telling you, the red color, it's, it's huge. <laughs> so the other nice thing about not doing a lot of fall decorating, so I have like my, my pumpkins here. So this is all I have to put away <laughs> from the fall. This is really cute too, but I don't think I'm gonna use it um, right now. So, okay, let's look at our leftover stuff. So I have these that we're not using. This is what, this is what I used to put on the coffee table. It lights up too, but it hasn't been working. And this doesn't, all everything else just takes AAA batteries and AA. So I don't really wanna worry about having to put a new battery. So I'm gonna donate this stuff. And then there was a couple extra like towels and placemats that I haven't used in the last couple years. So again, I'm always just looking for data. Like if I haven't used it in a year or two or three, then it's just usually not likely that I am gonna use it again. So I'm gonna let it go, keep space free in my bin here. And again, I will have totally forgotten about it by this time next year. My mom and Maggie made this last year. And so I think we might put this on our shelves in the other bathroom. I don't normally really decorate that bathroom, but I, I do want to put this out since they made it. And so I think we'll find a spot for that in there. And then the only other thing we have left is this little tree. I have had this forever. It was just from the Target dollar spot, like, I don't know, quite a few years ago. And so I'm trying to decide like, I don't know. I think for now I am gonna keep it because I have used it every year in the past. So, and it fits in the bin. So for right now we'll keep it, but it's on thin ice, <laughs> right? And then I always keep rubber gloves in here. I'll show you what we, when we put up the tree, these will be important. Okay, this is also, this is um, our tree skirt and it's just, it's a tree skirt from the dollar store. And then I added like this ruffle of red striped material it's not the edges are not even finished <laughs> you can tell that and so i've always loved it because i it just always reminds me when especially when tom and i were first married we had no extra money and so i would just do whatever i could to make things feel fun and festive otherwise the bin is pretty much empty so i think i'm gonna go pick everybody up and i'm gonna get them back home i'm gonna get them to work putting up the christmas tree and then i'm gonna head outside and put up the garland out there it's it has lights in it i'm really excited to see how it's gonna look I've just started putting up a little bit of garland. I'll show you the garland I got. But I also ordered some little pre-lit Christmas trees off of Amazon that I wanted to put like in the planters around here. The box doesn't look very big. So do you want to open them up with me and we'll just see if they're actually going to work out or not or if I need to send them back. That would be such a pain if we had to send them back. I don't know. I saw that they're 30 inches, but they looked bigger. You know, I always like scroll down the bottom and try to like look at people's real pictures of them. You can't really tell from the Amazon <laughs> descriptions, right? What I liked about them was that they just have a battery box for the lights. Like I don't want to have to be running extension cords all over. It's very pretty, the red accents on it. And it's like very full. I like that it has, can you see it has like this, like some variation in the greens on it. It's not huge, but it's pretty. Let's go bring it over. To the planter over here and we'll see before i like fluff it out <laughs> too much i don't know it might feel a little small what do you think corbin all right, right we'll go bring it over there and see a little. yeah that's where the batteries go i don't know corbin is it just a little too small there's no batteries in it yeah it just doesn't even really fill up that pot does it yeah. it's pretty but do they make different sizes i don't know <sighs> I don't know. I do like it though. I do think it's really pretty. And we don't have it fluffed out all the way. Maybe if we fluffed it all out. Okay, why don't we... The boys said they would help me keep putting garland on. So this garland I just got at Home Depot and I like that it's pre-lit and it was only $19 for this 18 foot strand. And it's like the, it has like wire in it so you can fluff it. It's a little tricky because you gotta. Uh, yeah, you have to weave, weave it in, it right? It through, <laughs> and there's a really long strand. Yep. Good thing I have you guys to help me, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, Anine is the master fluffer. Yeah. It looks pretty. I like it doubled up like that. Yeah. All right, so now we need to get some batteries. We're gonna light up the mini Christmas tree and then that will be the deciding factor if we keep it or not, okay? Okay, I also have this wreath over here. So that's pretty, but I'm thinking, those of you who actually like know about garland and do garland, do we need like some bows or something, some red or something in it just to kind of like, I don't know. Is it fine like that or do we need some garland? Okay, I got the batteries in. It actually has like a bunch of different um, things the lights can do. I chose the, the slow glow, but maybe we should just go to steady. Okay, does that look, that looks like they're staying on. Okay. Excuse the yellow extension cord too. We'll find something a little more attractive. It's pretty, I just, I don't know. All right, we're gonna get Adeline's reaction real quick. Go by the tree. <laughs> I didn't tell you. Yes, keep it. Okay. It, there's a second one. Where would we put the second one? It looks in the video like the lights are flickering. They're in person. They're just steady. I don't, it just must be the video. Maybe down at the other end of the deck, yeah. just down there. Yeah, cute. Yeah. Do we have another like, pot to put it in? Yeah, I'll, I'll get one out of the barn. All right, the kids got the tree up while Adeline and I were outside putting up garland and we have one strand of twinkle lights on. I love that. I saw that tip one time to use a strand of twinkle lights to add some, some, What's the word, whimsy? I don't know. Pizzazz. Pizzazz. Uh, the only problem is the rest of our lights, only half of the strands are working. So I think this is the year we upgrade to the LED lights and don't ever have to worry about loose bulbs and all that again. So we're not gonna put any more lights on right now, but we are gonna decorate and put the ornaments on. And I think when I've Googled it before, I think more Americans have artificial trees than actually get real trees. So I don't think I have to apologize for our artificial tree. We've had this one for quite a few years. I actually, we grew up with artificial trees, so I've never experienced a real tree. I just hear about the mess and it just seems like a lot more work. So to pull this up out of the basement and let the kids <laughs> work on putting it together, it just seems a lot easier. But of course they love this part. So getting the tree up, getting it all fluffed. Oh, let me grab, where are my gloves? I share this tip every year, but if you have an artificial tree, wear kitchen gloves while you're fluffing it and it totally saves your hands. The only bad part is you realize how dirty your tree is. Um, <laughs> gross. That's really disgusting. <laughs> um, I don't know. Maybe our tree is dirtier than <laughs> most. But it really does help to preserve your hands and not let them get so dried out. So back to decluttering at Christmas decor. I actually really love Christmas decor. I grew up in a house where my mom went all out for decorating for Christmas. And I really liked it. I, I loved it growing up. I love that she still does it. Um, often now like the kids will go over and help and she doesn't do as much as she has in the past, but I think it's wonderful. And I also think there's so much wisdom in matching our inventory with our season of life. And so just understanding what's going on right now. Uh, you know, I talk about bandwidth, like how much energy do I have to put into it? What's practical? And again, collecting data, what decorations are just always at the bottom of the bin and they always get left over and I've just carried them over from season to season, even though we don't use them, what things are like in the back and broken and what totes never get pulled out anymore. My mom's also really good because I mean, she probably had like 20 totes of Christmas stuff and she would start labeling them with the year on it, what year she used it. So that was also really helpful for data collecting to know what stuff was actually getting used and what wasn't. And again, we I, I don't know. I don't think I'm the only one we forget about it. <laughs> like once it's donated, I mean, we forget about it when we have it, but once it's donated and out of the house, you're probably never going to think about it again. So this is the perfect time of year to just look at the stuff that hasn't gotten used for a few years and say, you know what? I am just going to pass that stuff on. Donate it now. A lot of donation centers don't take Christmas stuff other times of the year. Donate it now. Maybe someone else can make use of it but you will never have to manage that item again if you declutter it now. And again, it is so enjoyable to decorate when we have things really simplified because then when they're simplified, we can keep them organized. And like I said, on a beautiful Sunday afternoon, uh, it's getting dark now, <laughs> but when I have the house to myself and the sun is shining, I can just pull out my Christmas decor and I can decorate and it's really enjoyable because I'm not trying to manage too much inventory. Okay, so the tree is up, the decorations are on. We've just had like the old, 
old fashioned, I don't know, the old style of Christmas lights. They've always given us a headache. Um, so, so the funny part is we have three strands of colored lights and all of them, only half of them work. And so that's why I was like, okay, enough. So we did get some LED lights. They're a little bright. Have you all found that? Um, I don't know. I don't love that. For a few years now, we've put a strand of twinkle lights on just to give it, you know, a little, well, twinkle. They just twinkle a little fast, but I haven't wanted to like buy another set. I, you need like a slow fade twinkle if you're going to go for the twinkle lights, but it really does make it feel kind of majestic. So our, so the light situation is not perfect, but I'm feeling so good about all of our Christmas decor that it's okay. We can let that go another year. And Okay, so now this is where you have permission to say, Dawn, you might have gone too far, <laughs> right? So I really wanted something red um, for the top of the shelf here, you know, to finish my zigzag. And uh, look it, this Santa is holding a little tree, like the little mini trees, and he lights up. So I have some batteries. Let's see if we can light him up. Okay, are you ready for the magic? <laughs> It's kind of hard to see in here, but right now, but at nighttime, it's just going to be beautiful. And then the little tree, I wasn't sure about if we should keep or not, is perfect up there. I don't know. It kind of makes my heart happy. <laughs> now that I don't have my little gnome Santa anymore. So should we step back and take a look at it? Oh, it even glows on the ceiling a little bit. Isn't that majestic? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think it's fun. I like it. <laughs> I also wanted to show you too, real quick. I just got a couple more toys in for Declan and Cora. So Cora is a year and a half and I just don't always love recommending stuff if I haven't seen it or our kids have used it, but this came and I just think it is so cool. It's like a busy book and it has an extra thing here, but the things that are in here are so neat. Like these snap and then you can make different patterns with them. Um, these are even those like clasp things. Just there's so many different things in here. And then these beads that you can slide back and forth. Look at the little hands. They Velcro and you can like bend them down. <laughs> Just things I've never actually seen before in something like this. So I thought this was really fun, especially like for in the car or at a restaurant or church, any of those types of things. And then this is for Declan. It's like a truck that has tools in it. It is so neat and really good quality. And I know our kids when they've had little tools like this and then there's things they can actually like put together and tighten. So it actually folds out into a little workbench and then here's like the nuts and bolts and different things that they can screw into it and everything. It's just really cool. And then it folds up again and the tools go on the side. And so, oh, and there's a little guy here too. So I thought Declan would have so much fun with this. So I think this for like ages like three and four would be a lot of fun. So. And I know I've seen your comments too, like teen boys and men can be the hardest to buy for. So in our free five days to an organized Christmas workshop, Christine from Frugal Fit Mom, she actually has teen boys. And so she put together a whole gift guide for teen boys. And then Callie from But First Coffee actually had really good ideas, more ideas for men too. So I kind of tend towards the like handyman type stuff because that's how Tom is kind of wired, but she had some really neat other kinds of ideas too. So I'll put a link to that. You can see all of our gift guides in there, lots of other helpful information too. And it's really easy to navigate around and find what it is you're looking for and completely free. So I'll put that link down below as well. Okay, so this is by far the most I have spent on Christmas decor, uh, well, ever, probably, both indoors and outdoors, but you know what? I'm not even gonna apologize for it because I have been frugal and thrifty and whatever uh, for so many years, and so it is kind of fun, especially because we plan to be in this house forever. So to have things that I truly believe I'll use season after season, and for it just to feel so cozy and Christmassy and happy, um, I'm I'm really okay with it. I really like all the light up pieces and it really does never cease to amaze me how we don't need a lot of decor, especially now that our house is so highly simplified to really make it feel special. And like this time of year is a little bit different than the other times of year. So again, I know it's not always easy to declutter your holiday decor and you don't have to do it all in one season either, right? So just try to simplify a tote or two this year and a couple more next year. And before you know it, uh, you'll have your holiday decor back under control as well. I would love to know, do you start decorating now? Have you already put up your Christmas stuff like before Thanksgiving? I'm guessing it's like 50-50, I don't know. <laughs> so I fully 
I fully understand both sides of it. I just like to take it down right away after Christmas is over. Usually by the time Christmas is done, I'm like, okay, done. Let's put it back away now. So that's why I like to put it up a little bit early, but I do hope that all of your Thanksgiving preparations are coming together well. And like I said before, I will be here to help you declutter after the holidays as well. So don't worry if the inventory creeps up a little bit here over the next few weeks, it is okay. We have some pretty good tactics to tackle it after Christmas as well. Okay, so I'll link to my gift guide videos if you still need some help in that area, but I love you. I hope you have a really good day and I'll see you again soon.